My name is Maria Vartiainen and I work as a researcher at the University of Helsinki in the Institute of Biotechnology. My group studies the cell nucleus. So that is the place where the DNA, so our genetic material, is stored. In this fluorescence microscopy image you can see the cell nuclei. Their DNA has been stained with the blue marker dye. Every DNA strand and every protein machinery reading the DNA has a specific position in the cell nucleus. This organization is very important for the nuclear function and for example so that the correct genes are read at the correct times. The nuclear organization can change, for example when the cells differentiate and also in some diseases. For example some cancer cells have a very disturbed nuclear organization. However, it's not really known how this nuclear organization is achieved, and this is exactly what my research group is studying. We are focusing especially on a protein called actin and its role in the cell nucleus. It is already relatively well known how actin functions in the cytoplasm of the cell. There it is involved, for example, in cell motility. However, the role of actin in the cell nucleus is still pretty much unclear. In this microscopy image, you can see also two cells where we have overexpressed actin in the cell nucleus. The actin forms these filaments, which can be seen as these green fibers inside the cell nucleus. With this technique, we can increase the amount of actin in the cell nucleus and then study what happens to the nuclear organization. And if we combine this technique with a method which we have recently developed to decrease the amount of actin in the cell nucleus, we will hopefully achieve a complete picture about the relevance of actin in the cell nucleus.